Here's the curve y equals uh, 1 on x. It's a hyperbola. And we know that this curve has the y-axis as an asymptote. Uh, that's because as x gets close to 0, so from this direction, as x gets close to 0, y gets very large. So a very small number down here becomes a very large number up there. Same here, as we approach zero from this direction, y gets very large because this becomes a very small number. One over a very small number equals a very large number. Uh, we can also tell that from the graph because we cannot have x equal to zero in this graph because then we'd be dividing by zero. So that's where we get what's called a discontinuity that is the curve stops being continuous. It's continuous and then at some point it stops to jump over this axis. Okay, so there's a test for the vertical asymptotes. If the denominator goes to zero as x approaches a and the numerator is not zero at a, then the vertical line x equals a is an asymptote. And from either side of that asymptote we need to consider, well, is the is the curve approaching infinity or negative infinity by using a table of values. So let's have a look at an example. So we're asked to find any asymptotes, vertical asymptotes of the function y equals x minus 1 on x minus 4 and use a table of values to discuss the behavior of the curve near them. Okay, so the vertical line, uh, well, we can't have the denominator equal to 0, so that means that uh, for it to equal to 0, obviously x equals 4. So x equals 4 is an asymptote. Okay, so from a table of values we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at what happens at the 0 of this function, that is when x equals 1 from the numerator, because that makes the numerator a 0. And we're going to look at what happens near x equals 4. Okay, so I've got my table of values filled in. You can see that I've got 1 and 4 here. So when x equals 0, y equals a quarter. When x equals 1, y equals 0. And when x equals 2, y equals negative a half. When x equals 4, well, that's we can't have that one. We're just going to put a little star there uh, because it's, it's uh, dividing by 0. And when x equals 5, the y value equals 4. Now let's also look at the signs. So this is a positive, this is a 0, this is a negative, and this is a positive. Okay, so from the table of values, if we look at x equals 4, when we come from the positive side, so positive x value, so when x approaches 4 from the positive direction, we put a little positive here sometimes to, to say that's what we mean then y is approaching infinity, positive infinity. When we come from the negative direction, so when x equals uh, negative a half or, or less than 4, sorry, not from the negative direction, but when x is 2, which is less than 4, so when we're coming from this direction, so that is from the negative direction, then y approaches negative infinity. You can see that at x equals 2, we're approaching a negative number. We're going to sketch this curve uh, a bit later. Let's look at horizontal asymptotes. This is a method for considering the horizontal asymptotes. We're going to divide the top and bottom by the highest power of x in the denominator. Then use the fact that 1 on x approaches 0 as x gets very large and as x gets very large but negative very large. So if the function tends to a definite limit b as x approaches infinity or x approaches negative infinity, then the horizontal line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote. So let's go and have a look at the function that we just looked at a bit further. So we're going to take uh, this function, fx equals x minus 1 on x minus 4, and divide 
the top and bottom by x. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom so by what does x. that look like? fx means we're going to divide each term in the top and bottom by x. So x divided by x, 1 divided by x, x divided by x, and 4 divided by x. Now, we probably skip this step once we do this a couple of times. x divided by x is 1. So what we get is a function that looks like this. Okay, so we've uh, created this form. What happens as x approaches infinity or x approaches negative infinity? Well, we just said a minute ago that 1 on x as x approaches infinity approaches 0. So same here, this will approach 0. So the function will just equal 1 over 1, which is 1. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. Okay, so what does it look like? Well, we, we found that x cannot equal 4, so we had a vertical asymptote. And we now have found that the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. And so there's two asymptotes, a horizontal and a vertical asymptote for this function. And we've added some detail to our sketch. Okay, so let's continue this on, uh, just using a couple of functions as examples and finding the horizontal asymptote. So we're examining the behavior as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. So we do that by dividing by the highest power of x in the denominator. So the highest power of x in the denominator here is the power of 2. So let's divide top and bottom by uh, x squared. So that means that the function will now equal 3 on x squared minus 5 on x because x divided by x squared just equals 5 on x minus 4. x squared is divided gives us 1. So 4 on x squared minus 5 on x minus 3. And so the function approaches, well, negative 4 divided by negative 3. Remember, all these tend to 0. So 4 thirds as x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity. So y equals 4 thirds is a horizontal asymptote. So I think you should be able to have a go at the rest. I won't explain them, we'll just quickly show them. So fx, we're dividing throughout this time by x squared. So each of the terms with x in the denominator approaches 0 as x becomes very large, so the function here approaches 0 as uh, x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity. So the horizontal asymptote this time is y equals 0. The next one, dividing throughout again, we can get a function like this. So as x gets very large, this approaches 0, this approaches 0, but this doesn't approach 0, it just becomes very large. So, I'm not sure why I'm writing the equal sign again, fx approaches infinity as x approaches infinity, but it will also uh, approach negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity for this one. So there are no horizontal asymptotes in this question. And for the last one, well, here we've already got that uh, approaches 0. As x becomes very large, that approaches 0, that whole thing, because something very large here compared to minus 3 is still going to be something very large. So this approaches 0, so y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote.